Hello everyone, it's time for a new 3D render challenge. Endless Engines marks the third one we'll be participating in here on the channel, and I'm excited for the prompt this time around. This challenge is all about building a gigantic convoy of 3D renders following some pretty simple parameters. We have five weeks to replace this basic render scene with a vehicle and an environment of our own design. So you know the drill, let's generate some ideas. For previous renders, I've done a series of concept sketches and thumbnails, but this time around, I want to make use of some image generation AI. Today, we're going to turn something like this into this. AI models are quickly getting out of hand. When I started the channel, AI-generated images looked something like this, and now they come out looking like total finished masterpieces. We could just load up one of the models and hit generate and probably get some beautiful results. But in order to generate images specifically tailored to this challenge, we're going to make some basic reference images in Unreal Engine to feed into the AI. Unreal Engine has updated again to 5.1.1, so hopefully it's less broken now. I don't know about you guys, but 5.1 seemed to break more than it fixed. Anyways, my first test with this involved getting some screenshots from an older racing projects just capturing the vehicles facing in the direction they would be in the render. By themselves, these images aren't anything to get too excited about, but now switching over to our AI generator of choice, in this case I'm using Dream by Wombo. I think this is how it all works. The AI takes this as reference, fills it with noise, and then redraws an image based on the prompt. I select one of the available styles and put in a quick descriptor of what I'd like to see. In this specific program, I'm able to select our screenshot and adjust the level of influence it has on the final result, which is great for generating iterations. So from only two screenshots, here is the first batch of generations. You can see how some ideas stick more directly to the reference images provided while other ones definitely go off script a bit more. No matter what though, it all comes out as really interesting and useful inspiration. While the focus of all this concept art is the vehicles, it also gives some cool ideas for directions to take with the background. By adjusting the prompt and the influence of the reference, the ideas can get really unique. As you can see, we can quickly create an ocean of reference here. This whole process is pretty cool, so I definitely had to make more. So now I went back to Unreal Engine and got more shots of vehicles, not limiting myself to box trucks this time. I set up a super basic landscape with some mountains in the distance, imagining the scene as a blur, just giving it a bit of detail for the robot artist to chew on. Also using Cascadeur as a 3D animation program for posing, I added in some more characters to the screenshots just to see what the AI would do with those. Using vehicles from the free vehicle variety pack and these new poses, I put together some new reference screenshots. And so here is that first shot, and we'll put together one more. As you can see, I'm not worried about the characters being textured or anything. The AI fills in all of that detail for us. And of course, here is that second shot. I put this guy on the back just to see what the AI would do with it, and it kept turning him into some wicked spoilers, which is, that's pretty cool. So now, back working with the AI, I used these new reference images to summon up a great storm of inspiration almost instantly. What once took a team and hundreds of hours now takes actual seconds, and I don't really know how to feel about it. So I'm just gonna keep riding this wave here. 
This process gets pretty addicting. I could hit this button for hours, and I kind of did. So here are even more concept images. It's really interesting to see what it does with all the different details. Sometimes it adds one character or two up on top. Sometimes we get a driver, sometimes we don't. Overall, each design brings something new to the table. And here's what that second image turned into. This one went into a lot of directions I really didn't expect. Like this top mounted machine gun thing here. I really love that idea and I might have to do something with it. I haven't made any solid decisions yet, but it's definitely getting the gears turning. A lot of these images use clouds for adding to the composition, which is a great idea I might consider incorporating. So these are some pretty awesome results. I took them all back to my computer and loaded them up into Pure Ref, a place where I can just gather all my images together. So there you have it, an entire board of AI generated ideas. This whole process feels revolutionary. Art is a lot of chasing the I can do anything feeling, and this whole AI frontier is really selling me that. And that's that. We'll take this board and use it as reference going forward in designing an epic render for the challenge. I can't wait to delve deeper into this. I guess I know what I'm doing this month. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to join me in the process. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're as inspired by this as I am, and I will see you all in the next video.